Hi, I'm Stephanie with Crosscut Sewing, and I have my daughter Amanda here with me today. And in this video, we're going to show you how to sew a straight line and how to do what's called backstitching. Before we get started, you will need to print out your worksheets for this class from the link below and grab some scraps of fabric. I also like to have washi tape or painter's tape or a post-it note handy. Okay, so let's get set up. One of the most important parts of our machine is right here, and it's called the presser foot. The presser foot is what holds the fabric down against these teeth called the feed dogs. So they move back and forth, and that's what pulls the fabric through the machine. There is a lever here that raises and lowers the presser foot. So go ahead and find that on your machine. On some machines, it's on the side and it's, some, it's on the back. So go ahead and find that on your machine and raise and lower your presser foot a few times so you get used to that motion. Now, when you want to get ready to sew, I'm going to make sure I put my presser foot down. For the learning part of this class and for the first few projects, we are gonna sew with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. That sounds fancy, but all it means is that we want to sew with our stitches 3 8 of an inch from the edge of the fabric. It's just a way to help guide our stitches and keep nice and straight and make sure all of our pattern pieces fit together. So whenever you start sewing a new project, your instructions should tell you what your seam allowance should be. To set up my 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, I am going to look at this plate right here and you can see that I have some lines with some fractions. And this one here closest to the presser foot is my 3 8 inch line. So I'm gonna put my presser foot down and I'm gonna take a piece of my tape and I'm just going to put this right along the presser foot, just like that. And now I know that when I go to sew, I just have to line my fabric right up against the edge of that tape like that and I'll be on my 3 8 of an inch. So I'm going to lift up my presser foot now that I have this tape set up and I have my thread going through the little notch in the presser foot and off to the back. So I'm gonna have Amanda do this part. I'm gonna have her take, a, actually we're gonna fold this in half. I'm gonna take a piece of fabric and I'm gonna have you line up this edge right with the tape. So go ahead and do that. And then she's gonna put the presser foot down and then I like to, as a habit, just put the needle down. So on this machine, that button, there's a button that will put the needle down. If you don't have that button, you can use your hand wheel. You just always wanna make sure you're turning your hand wheel towards yourself. So now she's ready to sew, so she can press, oop, we're gonna make sure that our machine is on slow speed. So now she can press the foot pedal. And just stop for a second. See how she's keeping that nice and straight and lined up with that tape? That's perfect. So go a little closer to the edge there and stop for another second. So she doesn't have to pull the fabric or push the fabric, the machine does all the work. So normally we wanna make sure we're keeping our hands way out here um, and just let the machine guide the fabric and let the machine do the work because the machine wants to sew straight. So go ahead and now we're gonna take this out. So lift up the needle and you can lift up the presser foot and pull your fabric out. And there's a little thread cutter right there. So Amanda's just pulling it, her threads around that and we'll cut the thread. And that's that. So if you threaded your machine right, your stitches should look like this. You should have nice even stitches on the front and nice even stitches on the bottom side. If you didn't thread your machine right, it might look loopy or something like that. Your tension should always be, um, my, on my machine, I know it should always be on a four. If you're not sure, you should check in your manual. But if your stitches don't look good, you don't want to fix them by adjusting the tension. You want to take your needle thread and your bobbin thread out and re-thread your machine and then try it again and hopefully it will look much better. Okay, so although Amanda sewed this beautifully, if I clip these threads and kind of tug at my fabric, my stitches pop right out. And if I was making a dress or a pillow, I wouldn't want my stitches to come out. So Amanda is gonna show you how to do what's called backstitching. And we're gonna get set up just like we did before. So go ahead and put that against the tape. Press our foot down, 
needle down. And this time, instead of just sewing, she's going to sew maybe three stitches. We'll count to three, and then she's gonna stop. So go ahead, one, two, three. Now she's going to press the back stitch button. If you're not sure which, one, two, three, she jumped ahead a little. If you're not sure what your back stitch button is, you can check your manual. Sometimes it's a lever that you have to hold down and sometimes it's a button that you have to press while you use your foot pedal. On my machine, you just press and hold the button. So she went forward a few stitches and back a few stitches. Now she's just gonna sew right to the edge of the fabric. Go ahead. Just like we did before. You always wanna make sure your needle's on some fabric, so I'm gonna have her stop there. And now she's gonna backstitch again. So she's gonna press and hold the backstitch button. One, two, three. And then she can go ahead. Her needle's already up, so she can take her fabric out. And that's it. So now what you can see what that did. You have some extra stitches. You kinda of reinforced your stitches at the beginning and at the end. And now they won't pop out. So that's back stitching, and usually we do that when we first put the fabric in and when we take it out. You don't have to do it along your whole seam line. So now we're going to do some practice sewing a straight line and back stitching. So if you have your piece of paper, we're going to grab that now, and you can see in the dotted areas that's where we're going to back stitch. So go ahead and line that up. You want to get your paper lined up so your needle is right on a line. I think here, if you don't mind, I'm just going to. There you go. Okay. So she's going to do her back stitch. So go ahead and go a few stitches forward. And then she's going to do a few stitches back. Okay. And now she's going to use both hands just like this. And she's going to guide the needle, the paper, so that the needle stays right on the line. Go ahead. Yep, let it go. Let the machine do the work. Stop for a second. So Amanda's done this before, so she's doing a really good job, but we're gonna show you what to do if you get off track. So go ahead and steer just off track a little bit. So the, the key to doing this is even though my needle is on my line, if my paper is crooked, I'm gonna wind up off track. So that's why as we do this, you wanna make sure that you're looking not just here, but out in front of you as well. And you can kind of guide your, your paper like this. So I'm gonna have Amanda guide off track a little bit. Go ahead and stop. Okay, so if you were to get off track a little bit, what you don't want to do is pick up the presser foot and move your paper so you're back on the line. If you were sewing a project and you did that, you'd have a little hole in your seam um, and a little hole in your project, and you wouldn't want that. So if you're if you're really off track, you might want to take it out and take out some stitches. Um, and redo it. But if you're just a little bit off track, you can usually just steer yourself back onto the line gradually. So go ahead. <laughs> and then she's gonna stop and do her back stitch. One, two, three. And then she's gonna take it out. Needle up. So Amanda has done this many times, so hers looks really good. Um, but give it a try until you have a couple of good lines and then you'll be ready to move on to a project. Remember, practice makes perfect. So practice with your seam allowance and practice on your straight lines. And if you are, think you are ready, you can move on to our videos for the scrunchie and the travel tissue holders. I look forward to sewing with you.